कुछ मान्य सदस्यों की फ्लाइट है वो बोलना चाहते हैं आज ही तो साढ़े आठ तक समय बढ़ाते हैं सदन की सहमति हो तो ठीक है जी बारदुल सर ऑन द ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुआरी वेन ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर वॉज गिविंग हर बजट स्पीच आई हर्ड हर विथ रैप्ड अटेंशन एंड आई वॉज ऑलमोस्ट टेम्पटेड टू नॉट माई हेड विथ अप्रूवल दैट यू नो सी वॉज मैंशनिंग अबाउट नो एपर एंड बैक ब्रेकिंग न्यू टैक्स प्रपोजल्स सी वॉज सेंग about widening of the tax concessions for the salaried and middle class people see also mention about increase allocation for capital investment and also gave a trust on green initiatives and energy transition but on a closer scrutiny sir on a closer scrutiny actually we found that there were a lot of contradictions in the budget proposals as much as that i would like to say in assam is that pise khun no hoy khunali samagar ek abaran hai all that glitters is not exactly gold actually the beneath of the veneer of the glitters of a self trumpeted amrit kal india is menacingly poised to become the most unequal country in the world so the character of the economic management and the state of economy reflect an aura of rahu kal it's not the amrit kal we all know that rahu gobbles up everything and in this current state of economy in india today the rahu kal is gobbling up the poorest of the poor the small traders the small businessmen the salaried people the middle class people so this is lot of contradiction in the budget and i would like to say and i would like to speak out i would like to quote article 39 c of our constitution which says the state shall particular direct its policy towards securing the operation of the economic system that does not result in concentration of wealth in few hands and means of production to the common detriment so that was the directive principles of state policy in our constitution so the crore potis of this country today are controlling 55% of country's wealth today the top 10% of the 140 crore indians hold 78% of the total national wealth and 75% wealth generated after 2016 went to the richest 1% of the indian population and on the other hand the number of hungry indians has gone up from 19 crores to 35 crores in last 6 years and this figure we have got from world inequality report so that is the contradiction of the budget india's tax system is making the lives of the poor people more difficult the salaried and the middle class people are being exploited and they are having a tough time the, on the other hand the concessions of the tax cuts to the rich the foregone revenue by the government in 2019 to 2022 in the form of tax concessions and waivers to the corporates was more than 1.2 lakh crores rupees and as you can compute that which com which com com fund can fund manrega for 1.6 years so this is the contradiction and today in this india today the ultimately the rising of poverty and the rising of very affluent elite such as we all know the rich are getting richer the poor are getting poorer we can have the bloomberg billionaires index is indicated i can give you one example take the case of mr gautam adani sir madam before 2014 
His position was 609th. But probably a booster rocket has been installed at his back that his upward mobility went up like a supersonic speed and he attained position two as the most wealthy person in the globe today in 2022. And this is the irony of present state of economy. So, Madam, India now among the most unequal countries in the world today. In this backdrop, like this, the finance minister should have taken measures and very clearly spell out measures to reduce the gap of the poor and the rich, which has not been done. That is why I'm worried today. I'm worried as a rational thinker that on the one hand, there are some glitters in the budget, but on the other hand, there are a lot of lacuna. I'm worried because there's a shrinkage of public spending. So, Madam, the data from 2019 to 2022-24, the social sector expenditure, as this budget spelled out, share of a total expenditure has been lower than 20%. So this is quite alarming. We all know we don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that when you put money in the pockets of the downtrodden people, the poorest of the poor people who actually live and stay in the bottom, bottom starters of the pyramid, they are the people when they get money that our economy is rejuvenated. The top one person, no matter how much money they spend, the economy is not rejuvenated. But at a situation like this, when we need the economy to be rejuvenated and economic condition and the economic activities to be generated, the poorest of the poor people are being deprived from the social sector. Thank Please you. Please conclude. Thank you. Honorable C. Thomas Ji. Madam, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity.